Okay, so I think I finally caught video of a ram's horn snail eating grindle worms. So this is why I feed so heavily, is that I have a bunch of grindle or a, a bunch of ram's horn snails in here, and they will actually eat live grindle worms. So I can put in a ton of worms in here for the bettas, and you can see he's actually chewed one up, and you can see him kind of rasping it in the front of his head in there. Oh, that's so weird. But anyway. Yeah, ram's horns actually eat grindle worms, dead and alive. And for me, grindle worms stay alive pretty much all day. So even though I'm gone all day for school, you know, to teach, I could literally like put in a ton of grindle worms like this. And then the fry will feed on them as they're wiggling on the floor. And I never have to worry about them going bad because ram these ram's horn snails will actually eat them before they die. And it takes a good 24 to 48 hours for them to die in my tanks. So um, I'm really lucky in that regard. Another reason why I love grindle worms and white worms. So you can see I literally have armies of snails in my betta fry tank. These are the CTPK fry. And again, to clean up any uneaten food. They keep the bottom nice and um, moved around. You know, there's lots of mullum in there. But they also push it around, so there's not really any dead spots. Looks like uh, several clutches of snail eggs hatched in here, which is great. Um, I can move a lot of these to the nursery. And I think, you know, snails also do a really good job of... Um, of creating infusoria, like microorganisms for the fry to eat. Um, one thing that people ask is that, um, are the snails gonna eat fry? Especially betta fry, remember how minuscule these guys were before? Um, so what I do is, when the um, pair of bettas are spawning, I don't have any snails in here, there might be one or two, um, that I miss, but definitely no large snails. So this snail was not in here when they spawned. After the fry were free swimming, um, I think when I started to feed them BBS, I did put this snail in here. Like this is quite a large snail, but I have never had any problems with ram's horn snails eating fry. Now, Ram's horns are the only snails that I have kept with fry. I've never tried any of the larger snails. I think apple snails might definitely eat fry. I've never kept mystery snails. But in my experience, ram's horn snails are absolutely safe, even for um, tiny betta fry. I have ram's horn snails in with my pygmy sunfish too, and those fry are even smaller, and they don't eat those. They might be eating eggs, who knows? Um, but I still get enough pygmy sunfish fry to keep them going, so I don't know. I could try removing the f snails from those tanks and see if I get more fry that way. But as far as I can tell, ram's horns are pretty darn fry safe. Um, and I don't know, they're just attractive snails too, to me. I'm a huge snail fan, obviously. But um, yeah, those are just some of the reasons why I keep snails around in all of my tanks. It just makes it a more complete ecosystem, I think. And everyone benefits from having snails in there. They're just really good at moving things around and um, keeping things clean. And they're funny to watch too. And obviously, I think um, for me, they really benefit the survival of my fry. I think this one's my favorite snail, if you can have a favorite snail. <laughs> Just, I think this is my oldest snail. I don't even remember when I got it. And I'm pretty sure it's the same snail. It's like, you think it'd be hard to tell them apart, but I guess when you've had them for a while, you kind of know them.
This one's like really blonde colored. You can see the shell quality on this one. Um, it used to live in my regular tap water, which is zero hardness basically. So you can actually see its insides, which isn't very good. You shouldn't be able to see a snail's heartbeat. Just saying. It's been doing a lot better ever since I put it in the special snail nursery. This one's always been super hardy no matter what. So that's good. Another snail enjoying more the Ken's calcium pellet. It's kind of, you know, dissolved. Are there any baby snails around? I got some of these bladder snails from the aquarium shop because I think they grow or they lay eggs faster. And so I got that one mainly for my um, puffer fish. And the snails are, th or the shells are a lot thinner and they're way easier for him to break apart than the ram's horn snail shells. But I think they're still crunchy enough to do their job. So I just feed him a bunch of both kinds. And yes, you guys did see a shrimp back there. I got like three shrimp at an auction. They're supposed to be black cherries, but obviously they aren't. Um, yeah. I don't know, they're doing okay in here. I thought they would die for sure, but um, I didn't really have a tank set up for them. It was kind of an impulse buy, and there weren't a lot of them, so I just threw them in here because I thought it would be better for their shells to be in here. They haven't really done anything, but they show up every once in a while. Baby snail. He might be puffer food tomorrow. Who knows what his fate will be. -ha 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 -ha. You can see how much worse off the snails that live in my regular tap water are. I mean, look at that poor shell. This one too. It's just all pitted and um, banged up. This one doesn't want to focus. There you go. But yeah, it's almost translucent. But they still survive, and they survive that way for many generations, actually. I don't know how. Um, I think at some point they would reach an age, a certain age, and they wouldn't be able to um, grow anymore. And they would just die. So for a long time, um, I just had the same snails, I guess. Same size snails. But, um, anyway, another reason why I love these snails is he's cleaning the glass. And these guys do a great job of cleaning the glass. And my, um, tanks really don't produce a lot of algae because they're all super low light, super low maintenance. But of what little algae they produce, I almost never have to scrub the glass. And, um, they really take care of any algae that I might have. Like, for example, on this tank, there's some algae on the side here. Um, but you can see the snail tracks through it as they eat up the algae. And I think I only have like one snail in here, which is why it's not totally clean. This tank has a lot of snails in it. And it's completely clean. I put a lot in there because um, they're really good at eating the leftover worms if there are any. Which, these Bugalaris fry are at a size now where there's basically no leftover food anymore. So I can probably take some out and move some into here. But yeah, I move my snails around a lot. And they're just really good little powerhouses. And do a really good job of keeping everything clean. I think I'll probably, his, actually his shell looks terrible. So I might put this guy into the nursery and then um, take out another snail and just switch them for a little bit so that his shell can rejuvenate. Just wanted to show you guys what my snail nursery looks like when I'm doing a water change. So all the stuff on the bottom is um, powdered oyster shell, which I use to harden it up for the snails. 
can see the quality of the shells has improved so much since I put them in here because most of my snails, um, their shells were totally eroding away in the super soft San Francisco water. Got tons of babies, which is a great sign. Lots of baby ram's horns. And you can see there's lots of clutches too. So a lot of these are newly laid, all these little clutches. And it's so cool to watch them develop because they just slowly start to um, just gain shells. They grow their first shell inside the egg clutch. And it's just adorable to watch. So anyway, this is my snail nursery. Um, the almond leaf, I plucked the almond leaf out of the um, one of the fry tanks. I don't know, I just thought it would be something nice for the snails to chew on. And then I also feed them Ken's veggie pellets with calcium, uh, which I keep in here, even though this thing says algae wafers. It used to hold algae wafers and they eat those too. So super low maintenance, love this snail nursery. Keeps my puffer fish really happy. A happy snail eating some Ken's veggie pellet. <laughs> I actually really like these guys as pets too. They're, they're cute. Snails are kind of cute. Especially the big ones that you've had for a long time. And then you get to have all their babies too. So. Snail tank.